Well, it is an athletic competition in terms of just your thumb. Like you got to be quick with it. You got to know it. Uh, and there's, I, I don't know how you practice it. As he reads the question, you're looking at a monitor and there are like these lights that go down like a drag race, you know, like the, if you ring in before the lights go down, you get locked out. You can't push your button again for like a second or something or two seconds. So you're locked out until that light goes. So you have to wait and, you know, formulate your answer and then watch that and hit it. And it's, it's a just, it's a tight little thing that requires like kind of, it's like, I have terrible ADD, but over the years I have taught myself to like hyper-focus for short periods of time. Like when I read the, um, the, the copy for the top of the show, I really only just had it in my hand for about a minute or two, but it's really easy to fuck that up. And I don't fuck it up very often. Um, and it's just because I do have, I do have the ability to kind of hyper-focus for one second. Like tweets are perfect. Screenplay, fuck that, I can't focus for that long. So it does take this kind of hyper-focus, this sort of like, for, like I said, formulate your answer while you're watching this thing go down and getting the timing and it beep and then saying, you know, it's a lot of hype. It's a lot of just, it's a pressurized little moment. Well, and also too, like, I, I have a lot of incredibly shallow knowledge about a lot of things. You know, there's a lot of that are just like almost kind of association things like being that great on Jeopardy doesn't necessarily mean you're smart. It just means like you have a lot of like little post-it notes of bullshit floating around your head.